Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be all about how I make my baby food and why I make my baby food. But before I get into that, Liam is in here if you hear anything. Or if I have to get up and I might turn the TV on to keep him entertained while I'm recording this. But, good job! He is all over everything. Right now he is standing on the laundry basket. Anyways, so in case you didn't notice, I colored my hair darker. I just wanted to change and honestly, like it's kind of dirty right now, but I feel like since it is darker, it's harder to tell. So I wanted something that was easier to keep up with, like with my blonde. I could not go as often as I should to keep up with blonde, if you know what I mean, because it's a really hard color to achieve the color that especially I wanted. I wish I could be super, super blonde, but I can't and I can't afford it right now. So I just changed it up and went darker. And it, last year, if you asked me if I wanted to go darker, I would say heck no. So this is just a big change for me. And then I also have my silver ring in. I usually have the gold and it's also huge. I really don't like it. I hate when it like goes out, but today I, Wanted to try something new. So I just got back from class and I've been on fall break this week, but it was only Monday and Tuesday. Today is Thursday. And I don't really have any homework or anything, so I decided to record. And I know I tweeted out that I was gonna spend all the fall break like filming and editing, but instead I just relaxed and I enjoyed myself. But today I'm filming a lot. Hold on. It's a happy. Hi, baby. Sorry, my mom called me, so I had to answer it. But also, if you didn't notice, the background is different, and it's still my room, but I moved the bed that was in Liam's room in here. I no longer sleep in the same room with him, and we just felt like it was best because he was starting to wake up every two hours again. I don't know if it's because he knew I was in the room or something, but I wasn't getting sleep again like when he slept with me, so I... Obviously needed more sleep since I was going to school, so I moved out and I'm back sleeping in the same bed as Cameron and it's honestly helped us out a lot being back together. So let's get into the video about why I make my baby food. So here's my little detailed pros and cons list. It's not detailed, but I can elaborate on it. I think it really just depends on if you are a stay-at-home mom or if you're working, I mean, it's really up to you. I find that it's very fun to do and it honestly doesn't take that much time. It's kind of like a meal prep and they, it doesn't really take that much time. I'll actually show you how I make some bananas. But first of all, I want to talk about what I store them in. So I got these ice cube trays from Kroger. They were $9.99. But I also found them on Amazon for about the same price, so I will link that down below. It has a nice blue seal on top, and it just keeps the uh, food from getting freezer burn, so that's really nice. But that's what I use. I find it to be very simple, and I know that they do make some containers for store maybe food, but that's just what I use. Basically, I like making Liam's food because I know what I'm giving him. I buy organically and it just makes me feel better. I know I can buy it in jars or pouches or whatever and it's also, <laughs> it is cheaper to buy a bunch of bananas versus one pouch and I will show you what I mean. I'm going to type in Gerber organic pouches and I'm going to look at Walmart. So let's see. He's getting into everything. So let's see. I think this one is from Walmart right here. Yeah, so as you can see, it is $1.93 for a 3.5 ounce pouch of baby food. When you go to Walmart here again. I 
Um, an organic bunch of bananas is 68 cents. So basically, the ice cube tray has 14 slots and you are supposed to feed, or the pediatrician will tell you to feed your baby solids three times a day. So let's do some math. So if we take 14 divided by three, you basically have five days of baby food for 99 cents versus one pouch that is a dollar and 93 cents. I think that is awesome, and that's not even a whole bunch of bananas right there. Using three bananas, I can fill up a whole ice cube tray. So I just think that's pretty great. I love how much money I am saving. The first time that I did buy Liam's food, I bought a bunch of different fruits and vegetables to try out, and it was all like $30, and to me that's just way better, and I know the food would have lasted forever. Right now I have four ice cube trays and I could probably fill two of them with a bunch of bananas. So if that just puts it into perspective for you. And I honestly don't give him solids three times a day either. And you're probably not going to do that. It's very exciting at first to give them solids. But the baby doesn't always like solid foods and you'll just forget. Another pro to making baby food is it can last up to six months in the freezer versus its shelf life, which I'm not sure how long the shelf life is, but it's not as long as lasting in a freezer. And it's very easy to store in the freezer. As you can see, I have no problem. It just slides in there and I have a stack of four. So storing it is very easy. I don't really have a space problem. Well, here I am trying to record this for the third or fourth time. I am not really sure, but I'm just really trying to get this up. Um, I do have some homework to do, and it's my bed is a mess. Thankfully, you can't see it. So I just put Liam to sleep, and I told myself I'm going to finish this, take a bath, and study and go to bed. So that sounds pretty good to me. And in the meantime, some time edit this. I'll squeeze that in there too. As I was watching the what I already recorded, Basically what happened is my videos are on my card, it's showing on the camera and it'll play on the camera but it won't show up on my computer. I tried another, another computer, I don't know what's wrong with the file. So I'm recording it again and I'm pretty sure I left off at one of the cons and I'm pretty sure I was talking about, let me see, storing it is very easy. Okay so I didn't get into the cons yet but there are three cons that I'm going to talk to you about, and there are more pros than there are cons, basically, is what you need to understand here. It's very hard to feed Liam in public with the homey baby food, unless you have certain equipment or certain product is what I'm trying to say, and I'll get into that in a minute. The second con is you need equipment, and the third con is it can be kind of time consuming and kind of messy. But anything is messy. Anytime you feed a baby, it's gonna be messy. It's gonna be sticky. The biggest con I can elaborate on is going out in public and trying to feed Liam a frozen banana. That's not very convenient or easy. Most of the time, I just take a banana in this little contraption. This is by the brand munchkin um it's a little discolored it used to be this very bright green like right here but you just put the banana in there and then you close it and it will put pressure on these little holes and it just comes out and that way he's not going to choke or anything on the whole banana and he can also feed himself but with this it can also get very messy but what what other things i do in public are these snacks now these are the one thing that I will buy from the store baby food wise, except for the food that I make out of them, out of the produce I buy. And these are Super Puffs by the brand Plum Organics. And then these are Apple Puffs by the brand Gerber. And they're both still organic and they were both under $3. And they will last you a long time. So the only reason that I did buy these is because not only is Liam starting to feed himself more now, and learn how to do this and not this because you will notice that they try and do that but these snacks are designed to dissolve in their mouth very quickly and they're not very big i'll show you the size 
There's the apple puff. Pretty small. And at first, when I started out these snacks, I would break them up into little pieces or whatever. And Liam seems to like both of those flavors. Like I said from the get-go, my child only really likes bananas and apples, but every kid is different and they like different things. Liam still loves breastfeeding a lot and if your baby does not like food there's no reason to fret it's just getting them introduced to different textures and flavors i'm starting to think that the lord does not want me to make this video mom called me yet again and i'm starting to lose sunlight so i don't know how this is gonna go but i keep losing my train of thought the types of food that i have made have all been pretty easy the only thing that gets hard is when you have to steam the foods and then wait for them to cool off and then puree them. I think that takes a lot of time. I made carrots, peaches, apples, and sweet potatoes. And you all you have to steam all of those because they're pretty hard. And you have to peel the apples and peel the sweet potatoes and take out the pits I think is what they're called in the peaches and the skin so it, that's the part that gets really time consuming about it but it is so worth it so i just think it's really rewarding and it's been really fun i totally totally recommend it but the the last con that you need to consider is the equipment that you need i use my parents it's the ninja i think it's like a some kind of system and it comes with like a food processor a blender and then a little cup blender basically that's really easy to use and I will show you how I make the bananas right now I plug everything in put the blades in and then I get my bunch of bananas this time I only had three I had previously opened one for Liam to eat and then I opened two other ones and then I get a little bit of water and screw the lid on and then pour it in a little bit at a time and then I get the perfect consistency I want and then I take the blade out and then I start pouring it into my container with a rubber spatula and then I am done and I just seal it on the top and it is ready to go in the freezer and it lasts you up to six months. Bananas are very easy to make. You don't even have to do what I just did. You can get something very easy to just smash it up. I actually have one of those. I did not bring it with me up here. But it's like a mortar and pestle kind of thing. Take it and you smash the banana in a little bowl. It's like a textured bowl so it helps you mash whatever you're mashing up. That's a really cool thing to have too. There's just so many things out there. I know they make the baby, there's like a baby bullet or something. And then another thing that I considered but my mom told me it was a waste, which I agree, is there's this thing that Infantino makes and it's a little squeeze system. I will put a picture in right here but you can blend all your food up like I did but instead of putting it in the tray you put it in these pouches and the only thing that's bad about that is you have to buy the reusable pouches and if you are a like recycle freak or environmentally friendly person you do not want to use those because they're a waste but they do make reusable ones that I feel like would be really complicated to wash I don't know but you just need to do your research but i just thought i would throw in my two cents to you all new moms pregnant moms it is really important to consider what your child is eating and start starting them out right now will help them later and one last thing i want to throw in here on the wholesome baby food website it says healthy eating habits develop earlier as your involvement is dedicated to making only high quality healthy baby foods and snacks your baby will benefit from these healthy eating habits and from learning to love whole non-processed foods. Raising babies to prefer the taste of real whole foods over processed foods is one small step in combating childhood obesity. So that's just one thing to consider and I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for all the wonderful videos and ideas I have coming up and if you have any ideas just leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching guys. Love you all. Your child's appetite, 